How surprised are you that your club got this deal signed before camp started or before there could be any more distractions? Um, you know, first off, I'm so thankful to the Chargers organization, uh, the Spanos family, uh, Tom Telesco for believing in me three years ago, and uh, Ed McGuire, Katie Sylvan. Um, you know, words aren't enough to, to express how thankful and how glad I am to be a part of this organization. And I had complete faith in them from the, the get-go. And, uh, you know, I've, I've never wanted to be anywhere else. This is where I've wanted to be for, shoot, as long as I've been born and playing football. So it's a, it's a dream come true. And, um, you know, just really excited to be back out there with the team today. And with it, your life has changed forever. I said, with it, your life has changed forever. Um, I think there's a lot of good that we can do with it. You know, giving back to the community here, the, the city of Los Angeles has, has supported us so much, and especially Eugene and um, my family and, and all the, the coaches and players and teammates that I've grown up with and have, have gotten me to this position. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll never forget where I came from and, and those people that helped me along the way. Justin, any process like this? Um, for, the, for me, it was to just focus on football, to, to be the best quarterback that I can be, to rehab my shoulder, to make sure my ribs were good to go. Um, and I had complete faith in the front office and, and the Spanos family and Tom and Ed and Katie. They, they all have, have done such a great job working together uh, for this process. So I, I'm super thankful and just can't wait to be out there. Just any idea um, how much fishing bait and tackle you can buy with 260 million plus? Uh, I haven't really thought about that, but that's something that to be addressed at a later point. And uh, you know, thankfully we're just playing football now, so uh, come off season next year we'll get around to that. How did you Is it for you to get this deal done before training camp to just to get it behind you and focus I, on football? I think it's huge because now our focus is on football. It's, it's to be the best football team that we can be, and um, you know, it's not going to be a distraction for us. And um, you know, I, I'm just so thankful for those guys out there to, to, to have supported me along the way. And you know, I'm not here without them. And, and so now the, the focus is back on them and, and we're worrying about playing football and being the best uh, Chargers team that we can be. What is it about this organization that gave you the confidence to say this is where you want to be specifically and continue to play football at a high level? I think the Spanos family has done such a great job of dedicating themselves to this team. and uh, They're willing and, and going to do anything possible to win. And, um, you know, I'm so thankful for them and, and everything that they've invested into us as players. Uh, you know, they've taken incredible care for us. Um, and the locker room that we've got in there, the culture that we've built with Coach Staley, um, you know, I'm, I'm super proud to be a part of it. How does it help to have Moore as an OC as far as what have you learned from him and what have you learned about you as well? He's been incredible. Uh, you know, he, he's played the game quite a bit as well, and so he's got a great feel for the game. And, and uh, just the meeting rooms on the field, uh, you, you pick up a lot from him. And he's got a lot of experience. He's done things the right way, um, and he's an incredible guy leading our offense. What's been the interaction between and some of your, you and your, some of your teammates now that you got this deal done? Um, I think I owe him a lot of dinners. You know, uh, Khalil Mack has done an incredible job the past couple of years of taking care of our offense and taking care of the defense as well. And, you know, there are some really selfless guys on that team. And, um, you know, I, I'm just so loyal to them and so thankful for their support along the way. And, um, you know, I think it might be my turn to, to kind of make up for some of that. Justin, how did you celebrate the new um, was just uh, in the team team room with all the teammates hanging out with them. Um, you know, they were super supportive and, and, and thankful. So um, it was really cool to be a part of it with them and, and kind of celebrate with them. What did you feel when you signed it? Um, words are hard to, to find for this, uh, you know, process. I'm still trying to process the whole, the whole thing, and uh, I, I feel free and, and just excited to go play football. And that's the biggest focus right now is, uh, it's just football, and I don't have to worry about anything else. And you know, I'm exactly where I need to be with this team, and we've got the right guys in that locker room. Um, so this off season. Uh, was a lot of fun with them and just looking forward to this camp uh, and upcoming football season. Do you feel like expectations or anything like that changes when you become the highest paid player in the league? I think I just get to play football now and I think that's the best part about it is I get to play free, I get to play fearless and, and we go out there and, and we get to play our type of ball and I know that uh, when we're playing at our best we're, we're a tough team and, and so these next couple of weeks of getting together, working together, I think they're going to be huge for us because uh, you know we're going to show a lot of improvement. Justin, when you found out it was done, where did your mind go to first? Was it was it family? Was it you know, your parents, your dad, your brothers? Was it teammates from the past? Was it coaches? Where, where did your mind go to first? I think that's that's a tough question. I think you kind of summed it up pretty well. It, it's all those people. It's not just um, you know one person here. It's it's the family. It's you know the teammates. It's the coaches that have have gotten me to this position. It's all the guys that I've that I've you know played with that are no longer around. It's the coaches that you know are on other teams, but have had a, a huge impact on me. And um, you know I could go on for on on and on for uh, all the guys that helped me along the way. Um, but uh, I've gotten to most of them and just try to say thank you. And, um, you know, it, it, uh, it was never easy, but uh, to have them in my corner, I think that meant the world to me. Justin, 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 Justin. Somebody told you when you were a sophomore, junior in high school, said you'd be standing here right now. What, what is your thought? Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really have high expectations back then. Um, you know, I thought I was going to be a baseball player, so it, it worked out. And, you know, super thankful for my coaches who have, have stuck with me and have, have pushed me and 
and have made me a better player. And my brothers, who you know I, I competed with more than anyone, um, you know they have done such a great job of taking care of me and supporting me that um, you know I couldn't have, couldn't have done it without them and wouldn't be here without them. Freedom of like contract behind you. What are you looking forward to now? I know we're early, but what are you looking forward to with the season? What's that? You know, week one. What's like something you're really looking forward to? That first throw, that first hit, that first crowd roar. I think it's just working with our receivers. You know, Keenan, Mike, Q, Josh Palmer. Um, Gerald, Donald Parham, all those guys have done such a fantastic job that uh, I'm just excited to air the ball out and throw them the ball. What do you see out of Q so far? Uh, he's been incredible. You know, he's, he's a playmaker and he's, he's going to be a star. And, um, you know, he's picked up the offense really quickly. He's fast. He's a huge catch radius. Um, so I'm really looking forward to throwing him the ball. From a big picture perspective, we know how much you love the game, but how much do you take on the importance of carrying the mantle from, you know, Fout to Rivers? to you and just like the importance of being a franchise quarterback. I've got so much respect for those guys and, and growing up watching them and being a fan of them. Um, I know how important that that role is to the team and, and those two were, were class acts and it's about as good as it gets on and off the field. Um, so I'll do my best to uphold that legacy and, and to make sure that uh, you know I'm honoring um, the Chargers legacy. The commitment now on both sides, do you feel any more of a sense of responsibility of what's going on around here or anything? Will your mindset change at all? You know what I mean? Or is there I think that's kind of the role, the role of the quarterback is uh, to have that big responsibility. And, and I look forward to that challenge. And, I, and I've grown each year and I've gotten better at that. And uh, there's still room for improvement, but uh, I'm going to be the best quarterback, teammate, whatever the team needs me to be. Um, I'm, up, I'm up to the challenge and willing to do it. Uh, on the field this year, going into year four, are there any goals you've set or any areas where you would like to improve? Um, I think one of the things is just making sure that we're throwing the ball down the field and, and taking those shots. And we've got those guys on the outside that are able to make those plays. Um, and so my role as a quarterback is to get them the ball and, and put them in a position to win. And uh, when you've got guys like Keenan, Mike, um, you know, Q and Josh, they're going to be able to spread the ball downfield. And so to get them the ball, I think that's my main priority. The congratulatory texts that you received, and there were a lot. Did you get any from Joe Burrow since? Is it the next stop in the contract? Or um, I'm I'm rooting for Joe. You know he's 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 done such a fantastic job playing football, and, and I've got so much respect for him as a quarterback. Um, you know I know he's a competitor. He's he's earned every penny. So um, rooting for him and pulling for him. Fans know that you're here to stay. What do you expect from that first home game? That first pound for you get when you first look at this. Uh, it's just been awesome. You know to to walk through um, you know the fan section over there and see that many people excited about football and. Um, you know, excited about this season. Uh, you, we've got a lot of high hopes, and, and uh, you know, I feel like we're going to bring a lot of energy. We're going to see a lot of energy at the stadium, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, with a new offense, how much of a benefit it is is it to have that continuity with you know a lot of players that you know, especially on, on that offense? For sure. You know, I, I think. Uh, kind of talked about it earlier Keenan and Mike have, have such a great understanding for the game that you know we might be calling it something else but we can go back to the previous years of offense and say hey it's similar to this or similar to that and and they're able to pick it up really quickly so um, just kind of the, the verbiage changes but those guys it's, it's all ball and, and they understand it pretty well.